going to take our pinfish, a bait fish we caught earlier, and uh, I'm going to show you how we cut those. The way I like to cut these, cut the top half long ways on these smaller baits. Some of them you can just fillet them and just use a fillet. I like to split the tail. It's a little trouble, but be careful uh, with the knife, of course. I'm cutting right through the backbone. I like to cut the fins off. It helps keep from losing some. When that trout's mouth goes over there, he does, he's not not going to get hung on any of those uh, those fins. So we trim those off. Now this is a four aught circle hook. We'll just hook this in the top, just like that. That's called a split pinfish tail or shiner tail. We also just have a little eighth ounce split shot on there. We got about two and a half, three foot of 20 pound liter material and a Cajun Thunder equalizer. Also got a, a bead on my main line up here and that bead's just to keep the swivel from going into the tip of my rod tip because they will pop out if you try reeling that swivel into the rod tip. So that's our cut bait rig. Cast it out, put it out, put a few little twitches on it if you like. If you got somebody that likes to sit in the boat, they can sit and take a break or eat lunch and, and this is a, a great way to catch a bonus fish. Shark, sail cats, have some fun doing that. But we uh, we'll catch some nice speckled trout on the cut bait. Usually don't have to measure them. Usually good sized fish. So we'll put that in our pole holder and let that drift. We'll keep an eye on it. Let that drift behind us. Now some call it a bonus rod. I call it a drift rod. And a little wave action on the cork. We'll put a little action to that and that cut bait will just drift back there. And um, with the circle hook, you don't have to worry about them getting deep hooked real bad. And that's a great bonus rod. So just set that out next time you go.